Fox 2's Dave Spencer joining us live outside the Oakland County Sheriff's Office with more. Dave. Yeah, Amy, that's exactly what's going on. While investigators here at the Oakland County Sheriff's Office continue their search for a suspect, over at the crime scene in Pontiac, family and friends gathered to hold a vigil in honor of the victim's memory. With balloons and candles in hand. I love you, Yana. Love you, Yana. Love you, Yana. Dozens of family and friends came out Monday night to pay their respects to 22-year-old Ikayana Gones. She has lots of friends. They love her. They love her. And she shouldn't have to go through this. She should be burying me, not me burying her. A 911 call was made around 4.30 Sunday morning. The report of gunshots being fired in the 300 block of Columbia Avenue in Pontiac. When deputies from the Oakland County Sheriff's Office arrived, they found the body of the 22-year-old woman lying on the sidewalk. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Whoever did this, please come forward. Ikayana's family and friends trying as best they can to replace the awful details of the crime with candles, messages, and pictures of a bright and promising future. Her dream was to be a teacher. She wanted to help the kids. She wanted to be there for the kids. She's great. She's smart. Remembering the effort it took for her to overcome mental health struggles just to get to this point. Her mother wondering where she will go from here. I don't know how I can be happy again. I mean, I have other kids. I have nine kids all together, but one's gone now. Rest in peace, Yana! We love you, baby! And investigators say they need their, your help in this one. You could call the sheriff's office directly, or if you want to remain anonymous, Crime Stoppers is involved. The number to call there, 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Reporting live in Oakland County, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Dave, it sounds like the victim had been home earlier in the evening and then at some point left. And do we have any idea, does her family know any clues as to who may have done this? Yeah, something pretty vague was mentioned earlier when we did this story uh, during the earlier newscasts. She told our reporter then, uh, Ingrid Kelly, that uh, she may have been lured out of the house by some man, but did not elaborate further than that. I had a chance to speak with her again tonight, and she said she spoke with her daughter just a couple hours on the phone, and nothing seemed out of the ordinary at that time. So very little to go on at this point. That's why they're hoping some tips could point them in the right direction here. Absolutely. All right, thank you so much, Dave Spencer. We appreciate you.